DC's Final Crisis starts to build some momentum in Final Crisis number two. Welcome back, Zappers. I'm Devin Curry with Shazap.com, your online source for comic book news and reviews. Today on Shazap, we're taking a look at Final Crisis number two. Now, this is a tough one to get a read on because there is so much going on. I mean, DC just crams so much into their events that it's hard to know where to start. So let's start off with what I didn't like. The first, and in my opinion, most grievous offense was that Batman has been kidnapped. I mean, really, is Batman going to be the first one that gets nabbed? Come on, let's be realistic here. He's, he's frickin' Batman. I mean, the next thing I didn't like was how it opened. By starting off in Japan with the Super Kids Club, it didn't really connect me to the story. I wondered if it was off in the future and what its relevance was. Now, it started to come together, and I think that it'll make more sense later on and a pretty good story. So I'm excited to see what will come of that. I also didn't like how at John's funeral, when Superman said, and we hope for a resurrection. Now, death has to mean something, and it's been far too easy for the writers at DC to bring people back lately. I mean, let's leave death with what it is and give it some real meaning. Now, for the things I did like, which thankfully outweigh the things I didn't, first of all, I love the concept of the bullet shot back through time. It's kind of like when in Wanted, which is coming out this weekend, where they had to fire a bullet from a whole other city to kill someone who was unkillable. It's a great twist and a very unique idea. I like that Lois is maybe dead in the explosion. I mean, it was the Earth 2 Lois dying that basically created the last crisis. And this one dying may be what pushes Superman over the edge to change this one. I also love that the Alpha Lanterns, or at least one of them, has lost it. Because quite frankly, we all knew that they would eventually. Lastly, I love the return of The Flash. It wouldn't be a crisis without some serious stuff happening in the Flash series. Now, they are all so amazing, and they have to be toned down so often so that there's a story, because their power is so great. You know, I once heard Marv Wolfman say that he hated having a Flash on a team, because in all actuality, they should have the problem wrapped up and be back for dinner before the other members even finish getting their capes on. The crisis is where they really get to shine, and I love it. This issue was a whole lot better, and I can't wait to see what comes next. Thanks for tuning in to Shazap.com. I'm Devin Curry, and we'll see you next time. I'm